you know we got to start weaving the summon videos into it because there's a lot of people that okay maybe not a lot there's a handful of people that want summon videos for the jujutsu kaisen collab so that's what we're going to do today we are here on shine's account on global server which is this oh i think that's is that a pokemon i <clears throat> i should probably know yeah they got the the light and dark versions that's got to be that's that's got to be something that i should know in terms of pop culture and people are rolling their eyes at me right now they're like how do you not know what this monster thing is because i'm dumb guys okay really it took you that long to figure that out all right so we got a decent amount not anything oh we have more than i thought we did do we a little bit more a little bit more let's get it started let's see what they want on the wish list zibala alia adriana smicer so I'd, I'd like to imagine that they don't do RTA, do they? Because it's it sounds by that. Well, actually, Aaliyah's more for Siege. Adrian and Smicer, though. Those, I feel like, are RTA units. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Four-star uh, Yuji. Wind Yuji. Uh, good luck on the other content, if you don't mind. Yeah, the other content. <clears throat> the other content. I'm sorry, I get excited and they yell in the microphone. Other content was supposed to already have started. Uh, a few ideas for RTA. I think you can. I think I can do better than my current rank. Didn't we? Didn't we? Was this the same person? I, I mean, I suppose multiple people. Multiple people can uh, ask that question. Let's see what their current comps are. That's not bad. Oh, well, this okay. That's uh, that's their arena defense. Well, let's see. You know, I actually like their uh, I like their ideas. Oh, it seems like they're kind of well, maybe more more wings. I think. Because look, they they went from uh, 1420 to now 1470, 1480 right now. More wings. More wings. See, yeah, I mean, that's that's the biggest thing for what I can see right now. Because it seems like you're you're climbing. So, yeah, that's, uh, I, I suppose that's one of people's biggest misconceptions is like, oh, I don't know how to get, I got the monsters for RTA. First off, you need the runes. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, I got the monsters, I don't know why I'm not good at RTA. First off, you need the runes also on the monsters. Uh, you need to make sure they're speed tuned correctly. You need to make sure you draft accordingly. You can't just pick the same, depending on what you have in your box, what units you're trying to pick. Sometimes you can get away with less flexibility if you have some really premium stuff. But yeah, you do need to uh, be able to be flexible and play according to what your opponent's picking uh, and then just do matches if you have a 55 percent win rate you're not gonna get it's not arena it's not regular arena you're not gonna have like a 80 90 100 percent win rate i don't know anyone that has 100 percent win rate in regular well I, su I suppose if you only do 10 battles and they're all like fighter level then you would possibly have a 100 percent win rate so there's always gonna be a couple times that rng screws you Regardless, even in regular arena where you can pick whatever you want and you know what and you can fight whatever uh, defenses There's always gonna be that those times where Galleon's like I'm gonna defense break nothing and you're like wow Thanks Galleon. He's like I'm gonna also attack power buff none of your units too like wait That's you think that's not that's not even RNG. How do you think he's like it's RNG now a hole. Oh, thank you Thank you for that Galleon He's gonna come to us. We'll find a way to do it. They'll make attack <laughs> buffs RNG. Actually, they do. Draco has RNG attack power buffs. They already found a way to make that a thing. Yep. RNG attack power buffs. But yeah, sometimes it's just sometimes you just get unlucky. Or like you have a 97% crit rate, and that's not a hundred, and something just misses all the crits. So, yeah, it happens. There's no guarantees. I mean, there are some guarantees, but even even with the guarantees, there's no guarantees. 
Like, even if something is guaranteed to crit and guaranteed to ignore defense, you could still, like, you don't know if your opponent's got damage mitigation, like crazy damage mitigation or shields when you, uh, when you possibly think that they don't. So, yeah, some kind of trap defense. You never know. My point is, if you have, like, a 55% win rate, you're going to keep climbing. You just do more, do more battles. That's one of the biggest misconceptions, though. Is people think that they need to have, like, 60, 70, 80, 90% win Like, the people in the top 100 don't even have those the 80, 90% win rates. Like, the best, the best, 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 best players. Like, some of them have, like... Oh, I have to... I, have to, I don't want to say things that possibly are not... Uh, can we get data here? See, I always want to get data to back up whatever I say. But yeah, uh, they should be like 70s or like top, top. Uh, let's take a look. We are refreshing. Top ranking players. Yeah, a lot of these are in the 50s, 50s and 60s. A lot of these players in the top are in are like 50, 59, 57, 58, 56, 66, 61, 70, 66. Now it's not loading, but you get the idea. Like these these people are do not have 90, 100% win rates. That's not that's not how it goes. There's a misconception because you see stuff on YouTube. You're like, oh, people are getting all these crazy win rates. They're winning every battle. They're not winning every battle. That's not how it goes. We just show you the juicy stuff. We don't show you where it's like, oh, all of my... The opponent countered what I was trying to pick for the video immediately before I started even pick it. Like, we don't show you that stuff. We don't show you the ones where it's like, oh, all of the units got resisted every single time they tried to land any debuff. Okay, or like, oh, the opponent just happened to have a super premium LD comp and we got destroyed. Like, that's not how that goes. Like, that's not, they, myself and other YouTubers as well, we don't show you that stuff. Because people don't want to see it, so. Every so often we'll try to include like some of the losses, like, oh, this is what also happens in a realistic situation, but you can't like, yeah. People, people want to see where a unit shines not where a unit doesn't shine they know they know where a unit can get destroyed by rng and destroyed by just getting cleaved or whatever else but yeah don't don't get under the not not bad three uh three and a half five so far but don't get under the impression that like you're supposed to be having like an 80 90 percent win rate because that's just ridiculous and that's what happens with, the, with YouTube, with social media. I noticed that with all social media. There's like... It's just all... It's just all BS. Not even just Summoner's War. It's just all social media is BS. I... I, uh, I have a Facebook account. <gasps> Facebook account. Don't go looking for it. There's, if there's Facebook accounts that are pretending to be me that are fake. I have a personal Facebook account that's not available for anyone else. It's just a... Uh, I got a couple people on it, and I know, like, I notice everything. First off, it's like ninety percent ads because if they don't have, if they don't have enough stuff to show you, they will just show you ads. If they do have enough stuff to show you, they'll still show you ads. Like even if all your friends are posting all the time, they're like, we're gonna still show you ninety percent ads. Facebook is ninety percent ads, just ninety percent garbage, right? It's also very, very fake. Like you can fact check so much of that and it's just fake on top of fake on top of fake it's just like it's like factually inaccurate it's like they didn't even try that hard and everyone's just falling for all of it it's disgusting but that's I, people just fall for everything nowadays don't be a sucker don't fall for everything most of the crap on the internet is fake bs that's my rant for today. That's, <laughs> I gotta, like, sometimes I gotta put the brakes on. I'm like, calm down. You're summoning little character monsters in a video game. You're gonna talk about all of the garbage. Man, all this garbage on social media. It's just all, all doctored up. You see the people with the Lamborghinis. They're like, oh, yeah, I tell you how to get rich. This is how to get rich. I got this Lamborghini. It's like, first off, if you had 
like they're like oh i got a million dollars like if you had a million dollars like you if you had the intelligence to get a million dollars to like make a million dollars by something smart that you were doing you wouldn't go out and do something stupid like buy a lamborghini you would reinvest it because you want to not just have a million dollars also a million dollars is not that much money i know it's a, probably a shocker to a lot of people but it's not that much money you will hey nice look at this <laughs> thumbs up and everything but uh yeah you guys will all make a million dollars over the course of your lifetime as long as you're actually working if you're not working then that's a different story but you will eventually make a million dollars it's not that much money and then after taxes it's not that much money and then after people find out that you have money then they'll want you to buy them things and then it's not that much money so yeah yep the people that actually have money do their best to try to pretend they don't have that much money because they're like i would like to hold on to this i don't want people to take it from me so yeah they're they're not the ones buying the uh the shiny flashy things are the ones buying like investments so that they have more money in the future so yeah all the people that are like here's the the the, the, the greatest kicker is um all those uh get rich quick uh you buy my ebook my e-course to, to to try to get rich like that's their plan for how they're gonna make their million dollars like they don't even have it yet they're like renting the cars and they're like this is a thing this is a thing by the way uh it's the rant it's all there's always a rant there's always a rant um but they will go out and they will they'll rent cars they'll test drive cars and like very very expensive cars and then go and have like their friends are set like they know a realtor that's that's selling like a nice like five million dollar house they're like yeah let me film a, a video in your five million dollar house i'm gonna film an ad for my new ebook let me do and there's they've gotten called out like a lot of the well-known ones the well-known scammers have gotten called out but they've suckered so many people over the course of time that it really doesn't matter that they called got called out because they made their money already so yeah sad sad but true 90 percent of the bs on the internet is bs if something seems like it's too good to be true it's too good to be true and it's basically always too good it's it's all it's always just not true so yeah everything is fake <laughs> everything is fake we should all uh just hide lock ourselves in our uh in our apartments and houses and uh don't don't have any contact with the rest of the world you're probably safer off that way all right so we got a couple dupes should we feed them good question keep good dupes for siege feed the rest for ld scrolls i know it's a waste i'm not missing them oh my god feed the rest for ld scrolls i'll i'll just keep them i don't want to feed them for you can feed them for ld scrolls if you want and you have some new uh some new units now to play around with an rta but it seems it seems like they're already climbing so just do more matches do more matches try to stay focused and centered and not emotionally uh enraged all the time like me so take 10 monsters so i can throw my best runes on them i think you're doing fine you just have to do more matches i don't think it's really about uh and and you should play with what you enjoy that's another thing because if you play the comps that you enjoy then you'll want to do more matches also i kind of noticed that there's not much of a difference <laughs> maybe for me personally like i'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna try not to pick things that i know i will guarantee lose but like there's not too much of a difference in terms of like picking something that's a little wacky versus picking something that's like the meta meta's got a, a slightly better chance is slightly more efficient but yeah even the wacky stuff like it's it's all rng at the end of the day anyway as, as, as long as you pick a decent comp a lot of it's going to come down to violent procs, accuracy, resistance, what crits, what doesn't, and RNG. 
Well, that that is that is RNG. That is RNG. Literally describe all the things that are RNG and then say RNG on top of that. Like, no, that's you just described RNG. That's, that's redundant if you just say RNG again. All the stuff that are RNG and then also RNG. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me take notes for this. Clearly, I'm learning so much now. We at least got a decent amount of stuff, though. I wasn't paying attention to how much. It feels like we got about double what we should have. Am I off my rocker? Or did we actually get double what we uh, should have? A couple dupes, but I don't want to feed the dupe mo long because that's not a bad unit for a siege. He's easy to scale up with fusions, too. I kind of miss Siege. Never thought I'd see the day. No, Siege is, uh, I kind of miss Siege. There's still RNG, there's still things that are frustrating, but... Ooh. Water Monkey. If this is a do Okay, we'll, we'll feed him, we'll feed him. Because we don't need a dupe Water Monkey. So... That's the one. Damn you, water monkey. All oh, right, they said that was genuinely. I I just that's habit. That's habit. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to do the um, the blessing. I mean, I, I was trying to do the blessing, but then as as soon as I'm doing the blessing, I'm like, ah, oh, they said LD scrolls. It's just force of habit. Just go right for the blessing before I even think about what I'm supposed to be doing. It's not the end of the world. Three LD scrolls would have gotten him nothing anyway. Fire Robo. I'm sad that he got nerfed. I, I think that's ridiculous that he needed to get nerfed. Comptra was like, no, he's balanced. No, he was nerfed. You nerfed him. You nerfed him. I'm hoping to play... Uh, I bought, I bought Half-Life the other day. I mean, I have Half-Life already, but I bought it again because I'm like, I don't have a CD player to play the original Half-Life. Uh, oh, no, I guess... Do I have a CD player? I think I have a USB CD player somewhere. But, yeah. I do not have a CD player built. No, no one has CD players built. I shouldn't say no one. Um, there's definitely people... There's definitely people that have uh, CD players. Lots of people that have CD and DVD players built into their computers. There's a lot of people at work that have uh, DVD players, like the actual still uh, in their machines. Surprisingly, there's all kinds of stuff at work though. There's like extremely bare bones systems. There's all kinds of different stuff. I mean, like I'm in an environment. I can't really say too much about it, but I'm, I, I will say that I'm in an environment where there is the whole variety of technology on the spectrum. I had one guy uh, the other day that was like, yeah, I'm holding on to this. It's a piece of, I don't, I don't remember exactly what it does. Something 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 having to do with manufacturing something uh but it's a special piece of equipment that he's like i'm hoping one day that i can get my hands on windows 95 because this only runs on windows 95 and like the first thing i'm thinking is like well I mean, you could vm like you could you could use that possibly but uh, apparently that was not an option because i think he mentioned that he he thought about it he's like no i i that's the first thing I thought of. I thought that was maybe gonna work, but I need the Windows 95. Oh, here we go, here we go. Can we get the dark one? Finish the set, get the dark one. Let's go. But yeah, I'm like, I, you, you had this thing for, and I don't know why it's it's been non-functional for 10 years, um, maybe more, and it's just sitting on his desk. 
and like maybe put this like in the corner or something. You need Windows 95. You're not going to get Windows 95. I can't get it for you. You can't get it for you. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure you can get it on like eBay or something, but then yeah. The things have to go through a certain process. You can't just, you know, get stuff on eBay and start bringing it into work and in in an environment like that. Cuz there's protocols. So yeah. But I'm just like, why why is this on why is this on his desk? Okay, call well, here's unit though. Like if you've if you if you're not able to use something and you're probably never going to be able to use it, put it somewhere else. So you put like something useful on your desk. Why would that be? It's a, a giant piece of machinery. I don't know, guys. I don't know. And again, I, I know you can get Windows 95, but just in, it's it's got to be like a special, it's got to be acquired a, a certain way or something like that. Hey, new overdupe. I'll take it. Now we can be twinsies. It's dangerous to uh, start buying random operating systems from resellers in China like no this is totally legit Windows 95 trust me bro <laughs> okay yeah let me just bring it into uh nah that that would get that he would get taken to security there's a lot there's a lot of stuff that you could do to get where I work there's a lot of stuff you could do to get taken into security like basically anything anything you do that a normal person would do <laughs> get you brought into security so it's like, yeah, don't worry. I'm just taking a selfie at work. Oh, where are you taking me? Why am I in handcuffs? Uh-oh. The handcuffs might be a bit... They're not going to give you handcuffs. Well, it depends on, depends on where you're taking a selfie, I suppose. But, yeah. A lot of stuff is uh, off limits. A lot, a lot of stuff. All right, so we have... Eight legendary attributes, one Jujutsu Kaisen scroll. Let's go. Can we get one more? Net five. Would be nice to get an LD too. Some kind of LD lightning gear. Water boomerang. What do we have here? We should do more video. I mean, we're going to do more videos on all these uh, new units, but I yeah, got a decent handful of uh, new stuff. It's always hard to get the new units when they first come out. It's always hard to get new units, period. Okay, here's another one. LD. Just a fire one. Last one. Let's see what we get. And another wind UG. Still solid though. And then we got a bunch of four stars as well. Yeah, not bad for what we had. We didn't have a crazy amount. So a few new units. Very nice, very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are getting some good <laughs> good new units. As well, you guys are like, no, I'm not getting any new units. Well, that's Summoner's War. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you as always in the next one.